Hey, the Brick Master here, and I'm here today to bring you my dub thoughts on Prison School's English dub. So Funimation is dubbing this one here, and I have to say, overall, this is just like a decent dub at best. It's not really that great, so I'm not gonna lie. I mean, everybody pretty much does a decent performance, you know? Like, you know, this is just a decent performance. Besides one character, besides one character, because they, they did this whole other thing, I mean... I like the fact that they want to have their own kind of creative freedom and they want to be able to, you know, try to cast it their own way. Because, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing to do that. You don't need to always follow the Japanese, you know. You don't need to follow the Japanese uh, seiyus and everything like that. You, you, you want to try to have your own taste and own feelings towards it. But the decision they made with this kind of affects the character as a whole. And I'll get into that. So, when it comes to Kiyoshi, decent voice, decent acting. Not really much to say when it comes to him. I'm not really impressed like that. Same thing with uh, Kiyoshi's best friend. He's a, it's not that hard to cast him at all. So, honestly, the, the voice is fine. It's just the acting's all right. You know, it's not the greatest. Um, when it comes to yours truly, Takahito, which is my favorite character in this show, actually, I have to say. I actually rock with uh, Prison School pretty hard as of late. I mean, the show's really good. It got me to read the manga, and I'm pretty far on the manga now because I've really been um, going ham on the series, and I'll get into that later in a different video. But Takahito's voice, I mean... I feel like maybe I'm a bit biased towards the Japanese only because they really, really, really hit the mark with his character, with how his voice should be, and he has all these really, really low lows and these really, really high highs, you know, so high that he sounds like a freaking, uh, pubescent teenager, someone that hasn't really even hit puberty yet, and, you know, his voice be scratching like that at times, and it's kind of funny, like, it has that added element to his character, and I feel like the, the English dub doesn't necessarily give you that exact feeling from him. I feel like it's just it's just not quite fair, you know? But, like I say, he does a decent performance. It's not like he's doing a terrible job, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, like I said, the majority of the girls, are they're, they're decent. I mean, some of the voices I feel kind of are kind of lacking at times, you know? Like, uh, uh, the, the vice president, for instance, you know, freaking big boobs and stuff. She, she's, her voice, I don't know. I, I, it's like a hit or miss for me for some reason. I, I can't quite get used to it, but I mean, it's not terrible either. And their acting's not that bad either. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying, like that's why I say this whole dub is pretty, like, decent for the most part. It's not, it's nothing, it's nothing to be, like, wowed about. And now, let me get into the last character that I really want to talk about here, which is Andre. It was while I was talking about the creative freedom here that they try to do, and they wanted to try to put their own spin on the character a little bit, you know, add their own type of voice to it. And I feel like this decision was a really, really bad one. It really was. It just... I don't know. I mean, yes, the voice, I guess you could say it, it fits him because of the way he looks. I mean, but that's the thing, though. I mean, that's the whole joke about Andre. I mean, he looks this looks very abnormal, but he has a very normal voice. That's the whole joke about him. That's part of his character, actually. And when you give him a voice that's supposed to kind of fit him, it's like you take away a part of his character. And it's just like... I don't know, it's just, and not to mention, I just, I just can't use, the voice in and of itself is just kind of ridiculous anyway, it's just like, it's like a freaking gremlin in crap, like, oh, oh, I was like, no, no, please, like, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's just, it, I don't know, and that's one of the main things why I can't really even watch his dub, I'm not even gonna lie, that's one of the main reasons why I can't watch his dub, because I can't handle Andre's voice, it's just that bad for me, I just, I can't, I can't. Like again, for animation, I, I'm all for you guys trying to, you know, do your own little spin. You don't have to follow the Japanese say you, how the Japanese do it and everything like that. You can do your own little spin, and sometimes it works out. Dragon Ball Z is a great example of that. But, like I said, I don't know. This one was, I, I don't know about the decision. Like I said, I can't, I can't dig it. Maybe you guys can dig it, but I, I can't dig this voice, alright? And so, like I said, it's, it's a decent dub. I feel like you can pass on this dub here. Watch, just watch the Japanese. They do a, a much better job at the end of the day in my opinion, but hey, this is just my opinion. Leave your comments below and tell me what you guys think about the English dub for Prison School. Like it, like this video, and subscribe if you want to see some more dub thoughts from me. So it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.